And welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Survivor Overclock. Last time, we bailed Haru out of another desperate situation, met up with a somewhat creepy man who did at least give us a hint about Belder, and we have to look into actually getting the information on what Belder is actually weak to if we want to have a hope of defeating him. We had a riveting discussion with Haru on the ephemeral nature of life, and now we have a battle involving Midori. Now, if you want to, you can actually check out more story events to pass the clock a little bit, and uh, at, at around 1400, the available free battles will update, and you will, uh, in these new free battles, there will be a whole host of new and useful skills to learn that can help out in any battle in the rest of the day, but this battle with Midori is easy enough that I don't feel that's necessary, so we're just going to address it now so that I have more flexibility with story events throughout the rest of the day. Ah! Help! What? Did something happen? M monsters just showed up over there! Oh no! I gotta go! Hey, wait! It's too dangerous! Hey, wasn't that Midori? Yes, I can't believe she's deliberately seeking demons. We have to save her. Please, everyone, help her! No problem, KSK. Let's get to it. Please, I don't want to die. Don't give up! Huh? Who are you? I'm Magical Dolly, the warrior of love! My magical punishment strikes all demons who do evil! Get out of here while I draw their attention! Activating comp! Come out, Ketchy! Oh, more monsters! Did she do that? Well, what should we do? These monsters are just waiting to eat us. I don't know if we can trust her, but... Look! There she is! Midori! This isn't the time for her to be playing hero. If she keeps doing this, her death tomorrow will come true. Don't worry, we'll stop her. But we've got to get rid of the demons first. Alright, so we're thrust into a battle with a very simple objective. We have to defeat the demons on the field before any citizen is killed or before Midori gets herself killed. Fortunately, you don't have to worry too, too much about that. Midori is uh, loaded up with a good amount of skills to make sure that she survives. In particular, she has Medea, so she's able to support her team pretty well. There, uh, let me see. Ah, we can crack Mazio here. Nice, so get some multi-targeting elect damage here. Just gonna set everybody to crack that from the random, uh, Mezuki. And let me just, uh, go over, uh, what the optimal strategy for getting through this level is real quick, so hold on a second. Alright, after mulling it over for a bit, I came up with a formation that I think will work quite well for this. Uh, I'm going to lead the opening charge with Keisuke and Yuzu, while myself and Atsuro will hold the back line, and I'll go over that as we get deeper into this battle. Alright, let's get this started. We must deal with the demons, but we also have to reach her and convince her to stop. Her being, uh, Midori, of course. Alright, so to start this off, I've got Keisuke with Soparna and Nekomata. We're just going to have him, uh, deal some damage to this, uh, Wendigo formation. And ideally, we'll take out the, uh, Mezuki with, uh, uh, Mazio before we go any further. We'll have, uh... Sparna used Force Dance. Unfortunately, the Nekomata that I got is quite weak. Uh, she was uh, just a one-star, uh, the only thing I had available uh, to buy from the Devil Auction when I was looking. So that's just something we're going to have to grin and bear, unfortunately. But it should be fine enough. Fortunately, uh, we've uh, well and truly uh, passed the enemies at this point, so I'm not overly concerned about what they're capable of doing to us. There we go. Get that Mezuki nice and weak. And then I'm going to have myself uh, move up with Garm using uh, Devil Speed in order to take out that Mezuki right quick. Alright, do I want to set Mazio? Mm. Eh, I don't need Xan, I just kind of set that for the heck of it. So let's uh, put Mazio in. How can they fight against demons? Oh, don't, don't tell me. They're demons in disguise? 
As you can see, the people are starting to draw their own conclusion about the nature of tamers, and not exactly coming to correct ones, but I suppose we kind of brought that on ourselves, just flaunting our demons around all willy-nilly. I've got Yuzu set up with a Garm and a Tobiu so that we can enjoy some increased range and take out this Wendigo right here. We're gonna hopefully weaken this formation a lot so that it does not, uh, deal uh, massive damage to the civilians. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we do not start with Mazio, so we kind of have to uh, just deal with the random nature of our hits. And because of uh, Tobio, we're not going to get any extra turns, but that is exactly what I wanted to get there, so I am A-OK -okay with that. That's perfectly fine by me, and we'll end our turn there. Next up, like I said, I'm just going to use uh, Garm's Devil Speed to wipe out this Wendigo formation right here. No problem there. All right. Hopefully before the end of this video, we can get to level 26. Now's our chance. Let's go while the demons are fighting each other. No way I'm going to be stuck in the middle of a monster fight. The ordinary citizens can escape by reaching the blue colored areas. So yes, the citizens will begin to flee when their turns come around. All right, I'm just going to have Atsuro move up a little bit, and then I'm just going to have him hold position for the rest of the map. And my reasons for doing that will become apparent later. Jack Frost will give that Wendigo a quick pick-me-up, but again, we're not concerned about the Wendigo now that he's solo. Do wish we could have done more. Honestly, I probably should have uh, shelved uh, Tobiu so that uh, Yuzu can do her uh, best on defense, because none of the enemies here uh, have ranged attacks, so we don't need to concern ourselves with, uh, with them too much. As you can see, these Jack Frosts are making their way towards Midori, but I'm not overly concerned. Like I said, uh, Midori is uh, quite survivable right now, and these demons are pretty weak relative to her. She's level 23, and her Kaishi are uh, level 19, so they do just fine. And the people begin to break away. I'm honestly A-OK -okay with uh, Wendigo uh, lowering the speed or the move range on Midori. It uh, keeps her in a single place and we don't have to worry about her getting into too much trouble. Alright, once again, Atsuru is just going to hold steady. And this guy attacking uh, Keisuke is actually exactly what I want. And it's convenient that we just picked up Mazio, so, you know, uh, I was being forward thinking there. One nice thing about Keisuke is good to- oh, that's terrible. <laughs> But one nice thing about Keisuke's good agility is that uh, he has pretty good odds of securing extra turns. Okay, we actually got really lucky there landing those hits. Because, uh, of course, uh, well, for one, uh, paralysis uh, really badly lowers your accuracy. And also, it just uh, adds a decent chance you'll be robbed of your turns altogether. Fortunately, Keisuke is just fine, even though he has terrible demons. Again, frankly, I probably should have just stowed one of them after I got him into position, but uh, I, it wasn't that, it's not that critical. This is just such an easy map, uh, but I will do that now. Uh, Nekomata, you got your level up for the map, uh, you're fine now. Let's uh, bring in something that uh, has a bit more serious power. Uh, we're going to bring in King Frost. Always want to take an opportunity to get King Frost some experience, and plus uh, this will be a good opportunity to uh, restore some of Keisuke's MP. One thing to note about Tyranny, and this is a good opportunity to show it off, is that you get more MP back if you're actively participating in the battle and dealing damage. Yeah, Saparna's just not going to be able to do too much while he's par paralyzed. But uh, as long as you actually contribute, you'll get a generous helping of your MP restored. A cool 13 there means that that Miragi effectively only cost uh, 7 MP to cost altogether. And again, just going to hold position. Let's get this Wendigo uh, stopped here. Uh, actually, before I forget, always a good idea to take care of uh, critical actions in your turn. We don't need Tobiu anymore. I just needed him for that opening strike. So let's bring in something a bit more uh, serious. Let's bring in Mezuki. Again, Mezuki, very good demon for this point in the game, especially if you fused him via the Flamus method. Uh, highly recommend him. Not uh, Agi from Garm probably isn't the best thing he could have done, but it's whatever. Good thing we uh, managed to get the first strikes in there. Brutal hit, again, scales to your uh, HP, so the more HP you have when you use it, the more it does. Nice. Mezuki got uh, a luck boost there. All he needs is one more level, and he has Mazio, and he'll have uh, double boosted attacks there. I'm saved! I never want to see another demon again. I can't take this anymore. I hate demons! All right! All we gotta do now is beat these demons. 
All right, so the citizens are gone. That makes this nice and easy. Now it's just cleanup on some relatively easy demons. And honestly, Midoriya will probably take out a couple of these guys on her own here, as soon as she actually learns to focus fire these guys. These Jack Frosts are pretty annoyingly survivable just due to how much uh, MP they have and how they'll just spam charm repeatedly, extending them out quite a bit. Actually, now that I think about it, uh, the paralysis is not as terrible for Saparna as I thought, because uh, Keisuke has access to uh, Hustle in his auto skill list, so he is uh, restoring a good amount of... Um, or rather, he's offsetting the accuracy penalty. Uh, let me uh, heal up Saparna just a little bit, uh, give him a little uh, bit of uh, pick-me-up for a very particular reason. I just want to get the fight advanced to the next phase here, because you're probably thinking, this is way too simple, and you would be right to think that. So uh, remember, paranoia always pays off in a Mega Ten game. All right, let's just uh, show these guys the business. Ah, oh, Garm, why you gotta break my heart like that? Gotta follow Pendragon's example, and yes, the uh, AI will still attempt to use uh, skills or magic, even if they are silenced. Alright, there we go. That was nice and easy. Yes! Justice always prevails! I'm pretty good at this! Midori, we need to talk. I wish you'd hear me out. Ooh. I feel it! <laughs> Yes, the blood of a bell. I, Belder, shall feast upon your soul. What? What is that? Belder? But why? He was supposed to appear in Aoyama Cemetery. Ugh, these accursed chains bind me to the darkness of the underworld. Humans, scream, cry, wail, usher in a world of despair and set my soul free. And yes, this is the big mix-up of this level. Once you clear out all the demons, Belder arrives. And to start things off, he'll use his Vampiric Mist skill. This is a curse type attack that drains HP from every character on the battlefield and restores uh, Belder's HP for the damage he does. He can't use this every time he gets a turn, but uh, after a certain amount of actions pass, he will end up using it. Oof, pretty nasty stuff there. But yeah, check out that, uh, he's, uh... Ah! What kind of attack was that? He hit all of us! But yeah, check out that healing he got, uh, and he's got quite a bit of HP on his own, but as you can see, he took quite a bit of turn delay from that. Alright, now I actually want Keisuke to guard here. Let's show Belder what for, though. Immortal, hardly. I, I can't believe that. Oof, that was spicy! What? Oh, no! Yes, Belder is immune to everything. That is not uh, just a... That is not a false claim that he is making there. My attacks have no effect. This is unbelievable. <laughs> I formed a contract with the world itself. Nothing can pierce me. There's no mistaking it. Belder is immortal. This is not good. Run, everyone! I can't just run away with a demon like this on the loose! You guys can run! I'm gonna stay and fight! We can't run away without you! You have to come with us, Midori! Please! Ugh, fine! But just this once, okay? There are actually a ton of variations on that. Every character has a unique interaction if they're the one to be attacked by Belder, and Midori also has her own comment if she's the one to get attacked. Uh, I've read that a lot of Let's Plays of this game have failed because everybody have tried to get people have tried to just get every bit of dialogue there is in this game, and there is a crazy amount of variation in some situations. So I can see that driving people nuts. Your whole team must reach the escape points on the right. If the allies remaining on the map are defeated, the game will end. Please be cautious. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Continue your futile fight. Uh. Now come, my servant. Fulfill the vows of our pact. And a whole host of new demons show up. This is why I had Atsuro stay put, so that he can just immediately act and take out some of these guys. So let me just take a look here. Hmm, who would be the most threatening? Would use it. Let me uh, just uh, see here. Let's uh, see how much uh, use it can move. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
All right, she can attack the Kaishi, so instead we're going to have uh, Atsuro attack the... Oh, well, uh, let me see here. Uh, I'm just thinking about what would be the best demons to approach with this with. Mm -hmm. The main problem is that I've got Kikoto Hime out, who does Force Dance, and uh, the uh, Basilisks are resistant to that, so... Mm -hmm. Should I call in something different? Nah, nah, this is the best that I got for this, so uh, we're just gonna go with what I got here. Let's see, we'll have Atsuro launch a brutal hit, on, or a power hit. Ah, I forgot to set brutal I knew I was forgetting something. Let's have uh, Pyrojack use uh, Ice Dance, and even though the Basilisks are resistant to that uh, Force Dance... Hey, nice, thank you. Leader Soul, help it coming in the clutch save there. And fortunately, Kikoto Hime uh, blocks... Uh, what is it? Oh man, uh, curse. So uh, she's got she's under no pressure there. All right, let's use uh, Berserk here, and let's just mm, yeah, let's just use a regular attack. Actually, you know what? No, no wait. Uh, use power hit on the one on the left, and use a attack on the one on the right. Okay, unfortunately, could not take that one out, but he's heavily weakened. Uh, let's have Kikyori Hime make use of affection here, show off the really potent healing on that skill. Okay. Fortunately, that uh, delayed the Pyrojack a little bit. Uh, the main thing to watch out for there, of course, is that he has access to... Uh, Petra Eyes, so he can stone your party, and... Uh, uh, petrification can be really, really nasty. Uh, if the leader is petrified, they will not be able to move. And uh, if you uh, get hit with a physical attack, there is a chance you'll shatter. And uh, Zan also has a chance of shattering you. So you gotta be very, very careful when that is in play. Oof, the drain is a little annoying, but not anything too terrible. The Dofners are not all that threatening because uh, they are uh, very, very fragile demons, so I'm not overly concerned about them. Alright, there goes uh, poor old Garm and Yeesh. Uh, luckily, now that the Vidofner is out of uh, the picture, I get his Elect Dance here, deal some really good damage there. Unfortunately, could not get the third hit on the Kaishi there, but that's not a big deal. Definitely gonna need to summon in another demon, though. Otherwise, uh, Yuzu's gonna be having some problems. Okay, let me see here. What do I want to bring in? B -b -b Better bring in Makara, just for the uh, initiative advantage. Fortunately, it looks like the enemies have been delayed enough that uh, Atsuro will uh, be able to get another action and take out one of them before they get a chance to do anything nasty. All right, let's uh, have Keisuke move. I summoned up Talok so they can get his uh, turn again quicker. Let's have uh, Atsuro take this guy to task. I forget if I actually made this point, but one of the things I was trying to emphasize with Kikuri Hime is that it's not the end of the world if she uses Force Dance, because uh, dragons cannot get extra turns anyway, so if she doesn't start with an extra turn, she has nothing to lose by hitting those guys with uh, Force Dance. And the reason I pulled out Makara is so that we get the uh, initiative bonus on defense. As you can see, Yuzu coming a little close to death there, but having the demon out to half the incoming damage uh, protected her pretty well. Fortunately, Midori will uh, focus on escaping here. At this point, we can just start running. Thankfully, we don't have to worry about any more vampiric mists coming in. This will be far from the last time that uh, when we're uh, in a mission, there will be a mid-level objective change to kind of throw a wrench into your uh, battle plan. Now, let's get everybody up to the escape points. Also, steer clear of Midori, because she'll slow herself, slow herself down to heal your characters and... And that'll uh, delay her further from escaping. You cannot escape until Midori gets out of here. All right, fortunately, Yuzu will be able to escape on her next turn. Let's have Keisuke get the heck out of here. We made it. Make sure you select the run option. I have a bad habit of assuming it's the last option in the list and selecting end instead. Yes, we made it. All right, and get myself out of here. And Yuzu, unfortunately, instead of ladies first, it's ladies last this time. I'm sure she's furious, but she gets away now. I... I'm safe. 
And mission complete. Let's get our experience bonus here. Get a cool 400 experience. Not bad. Not bad. Ah, oh, we made it. I thought we were dead meat. That's Belder? There's no way we can win against that. Th thanks, I guess. But I would have been fine by myself. Uh, come on. That thing is immortal. Ugh. Midori, it's not too late. You need to give up your comp. What? What are you talking about? I won't lose. I just have to stay away from that immortal thingy, right? There's more to it than that, Midori. Haven't you noticed your death clock? Death clock? I'm sure you can see it. It's the number displayed above people's heads. That number tells how many days the person has left to live. <gasps> what are you talking about? I'm sorry. I tried to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. You've had only one day left ever since you took the comp and swore to help people. But if you give up the comp right now... Quit lying to me! Then what? I'm gonna die tomorrow? Well, it says zero for you guys. If all that's true, how come you're still alive, huh? We're not supposed to make it past this day, and we could die at any moment. What? What are you talking about? That makes it sound even more like a lie. That's it. I'm not listening to you guys anymore. I'm gonna go beat up all the bad guys. Midori, if you hadn't run from that last battle, you could have died, you know? Hasn't it occurred to you that Belder might not be the only immortal demon out there? You're taking the demons too lightly. One mistake and they'll tear you apart. Midori, it'll be too late once you're dead. But, but is it okay to not help people? Is it okay to just watch them die? I hate you, Keisuke! You guys are all dummies! Midori runs away. Midori! Why won't she understand? Man, that Belder seemed way tougher than an ordinary demon. Yeah, it's immortal. What can we do? Nothing we did even put a dent in him. Damn it. I guess the rumors were true. He really is immortal. Though there's still that one thing that can hurt him that the guy in Shinjuku mentioned. We need to hurry and find it, so we'll be ready for the battle against Belder. According to the Laplace Mail, he'll show up at Aoyama Cemetery at 1800. If we don't find this thing by then, it's game over for us. Fortunately, the game will not let you get yourself into an unwinnable situation like that, but we only have until 1800 to actually get what we need to defeat Belder. As you can see, still got a handful of events around here. Now, the Shinagawa event, uh, this one is actually uh, somewhat notable, I believe, uh, but let me uh, just go over everything, and uh, you know what? I'm just going to make a save state real quick, so hold on a second. All right, so starting things off, let's do the event in Shinagawa. Guys, can I have your attention for a sec? It's about Belder's one weak point. I want to check the comp to see if it has any details on that. Began with a simple comment from Atsuro. Remember how the name Belder showed up in the Laplace mail? Well, even if the comp is just a client, it still needs to process a huge amount of data. Some of that should be kept in local memory in order to work efficiently with the server. I thought if I could get into that data, I could figure out some answers to our questions. A little digging around, and I figured out a way to access the data, so I want to try it. Though what I'd really like is if I could reach the server and access it directly. Yes, but it's understandable. Let's start with what we can do and build from there. It'll be up to you two to turn the generator's crank. I'll be busy with the data analysis. All right, let's crank this up. Sounds promising, but I doubt I'll get more out of it than about 10 minutes. I'll do what I can until the laptop's battery runs out. Now let's get started. Cullen and Keisuke turn the charger's crank with all their strength. Damn, I only got six minutes. Guess the laptop was too much of a strain after all. Well, you can relax now. Thanks to you two, we found some clues. Right, Yuzu? Yep, I wrote it all down, but it all sounds kind of weird. Here, I'll read it to you. All creation, save the devil's fuge, vowed never to bring harm to beautiful, radiant Belder. 
The evil Loki tricked Belder's brother into using the Devil's Fuge to send him to hell. Is this something out of legend? It sounds like it's talking about ancient times. So Belder was invulnerable, but Loki tricked his brother into killing him with Devil's Fuge. Hmm, so we can presume that the Devil's Fuge killed him then. There's no mistake. It says that Loki had him killed with Devil's Fuge. Devil's Fuge? Does that mean we can kill Belder if we have it? Hey, doesn't this all sound like what that weird guy in Shinjuku was talking about? You're right. That strange guy said the one thing that can kill Belder is inside the lockdown. Maybe there's something to that then. I wonder who he was. Who cares? The Devil's Fuge is what's important now. Let's hurry and find it. Oh, but wait, what is Devil's Fuge anyway? I believe that it's a plant. I, I know this because I played the game. I've never seen the term Devil's Fuge before this game. It's a plant? Guess we'll need to do more research into this. Remember what it's called so we can gather more information. R right, and if we find it, we can beat Belder. All right, but where could it be? That's the important question. Yeah, I wonder. Sounds like this Devil's Fuge is our only hope now. Let's go out and ask around about it. And with that, and that's a critical story event you need to see in order to progress the game, we now have new options available when going around various areas. We can ask people for info on the Devil's Fuge, and this does not take any time to do. How generous. So, over here, suspicious men have gathered in front of the Diet Building. Yes, I'm certain. If we have this sprig, there's no need to fear him. Hmm? What do you want? There's nothing to see here. Get lost. These people seem to be hiding something. What are those guys doing? It's definitely suspicious. Yeah, but they're not going to talk to us right now. Well, let's remember this place. All right, so that was a dead end. But uh, what about uh, around here? You asked people passing by about Devil's Fuge. Devil's Fuge? Oh, you mean mistletoe. It's a parasitic plant. Oh, that's convenient that this guy knows the alternative name for mistletoe. Do you know where uh, we could get some? You got weird tastes, don't you? Try going to Kudanshita. There was a guy in front of the station selling stuff from the woods. Try asking him. The man leaves. Just like you said, the Devil's Fuge really is a plant. Kudanshita, huh? Let's head over there. I presume that if you did not point out the Devil's Fuge is a plant, then Keisuke does not make that little comment there. But yes, now we have to uh, go to Kudanshita. You find a man in front of the station selling items made from different types of wood. Hey there! Huh? Devil's Fuge? Oh yeah, I had it a little while ago. This weird guy came and left it here. It was one of them things you put on your cell phones, a little strap tchotchke doodad. He said that somebody knew would definitely want it and left. Flashy guy, too. Huh? I sold it already. These weird guys in suits bought it. They were ranting about being at the diet building at 1700. You thanked the man and left. There's no mistake. The Devil's Fuge used to be here. Someone who needed it bought it already. The diet building at 1700. We need to get to Nagatacho. That's where we'll find it. All right, and with that learned, we have some time to burn before we can actually get the Devil's Fuge. Obviously, those suspicious men that we talked to f the first time around, they were the ones who had it, but uh, they are not available now. So uh, we're just going to have to uh, leave that uh, little uh, loose end tied off. Now, I'm just going to make another save state right here. So hold on a second. Yeah, I just like to uh, cut the audio glitches out because uh, I feel uh, it kind of takes you out of it. Let's uh, start going around uh, other events here. Uh, new events are going to open up as soon as uh, 1400 rolls around. So first off, Miyashita Park. As you pass Miyashita Park, Yuzu suddenly run runs in, saying she hears a child's cries. I was sure it was this way. Where could he be? Uh, Yuhu, did you really hear a kid crying? Because I didn't hear anything. I know I did. Quit complaining and keep looking. <gasps> hey, there he is. You look to see a boy trembling in the tree. It seems he can't get down. Wow, I'm surprised he got that high. He's at least 15 feet up. 
Jeez, stop gawking and start helping him down. All right, let's go. I'll get him. You're going to go all the way up there? That's kind of reckless. But then how are we going to get him down? It's at times like these when demons come in handy. Hmm, it would make the climb up there easier. You can't. If people see our demons... Yeah, but that's really high up. Even if we got to him, how would we get the kid down? Uh... Yeah, I thought so. All right then, activating my comp. Uh, I don't know about this. The demon Atsura summons smoothly rescues the child from the tree. Um, uh, thank you. The child runs away, and presumably because his death clock went up, he would have died in that tree if we did not do that. Huh, I guess he's still scared of demons, even if one did rescue him. Demons are pretty useful, huh? It's true that we see them attack people, but as long as they're kept under control, they can do lots of things that people can't. Wow, if their power was used in the right way, it could change people's lives, couldn't it? Yeah, but uh, also, I could see ways that it could go wrong. But you know what? Atsuro's motivated, and I like to see him happy, so let's go along with his line of thinking. Come on, Atsuro. Don't get any weird ideas. You either. Ah, don't be so negative. Technology can't advance if we don't think creatively, right? But look what demons have done to this city. People are dying left and right. Even we might die today. You can't ignore that part. Ah, well, I can't argue with that. But if we could completely control all the demons, we wouldn't have to fear them. Plus, wouldn't they lift the lockdown if that happened? Would they? Hmm, well, yeah, I admit that would be nice if it was possible. See? That's why we should keep it in mind as a possible way to get the lockdown lifted. All right, and with that taken care of, we are at 1400, and a new and very, very important event with Atsuro opens up. If you are going for the side quest for today, you want to see this event. Uh, also, the free battles have updated. There are new free battles available in Tokyo, and there are a new free battle available in Shiba Park. Both of these free battles have new skills for us to get. So first off, let's check out uh, the one in the park area. And here we can get... A uh, whole bunch of things. We can get Mow Down, a weak uh, multi-targeting physical attack that uh, hits every enemy. Like I said, it is pretty weak, but it is a reliable form of AoE da damage for physical attacks. Most prominently, we can get Medea. Highly, highly important that you pick this up. Super good. And we can finally get Ice Boost to power up our Ice Magic. I'm going to get uh, all of these later. I believe there's a couple other skills that we can uh, get from that free battle, potentially. But I have them all written down, but uh, I don't feel like opening up my notes right now. But uh, there are, I do know there are other uh, skills available at the free battle in the uh, dome area. Uh, here, there will be a Basilisk, and we can get Petra Eyes, Anti-Force, and Plus Stone, all from this single demon. And naturally, because there's only one of them, you have to do the battle multiple times to get him. Although, you do have options for uh, rushing the center stage and getting to him. Uh, one thing to note about these two free battles is that they're actually labeled improperly. Uh, the free battle at the Shiba Park area actually has weaker enemies than the free battle in the Tokyo Dome area. So uh, this is actually the hard free battle, whereas the uh, Shiba Park one is the easy or normal free battle. Uh, this is one of the few times I've noticed where the battles are labeled improperly. But I think, uh, you know what, I'm gonna make, uh, hmm... Just thinking about, uh, you know what, uh, yeah, we'll watch the Atsuro event right now because I do want to see this one. A number of people come running out of Ikoji in a hurry. What's the matter? Demons! Monsters! Demons! Let's check it out! Hey! It's dangerous in there! As you dash into the grounds, you run into a man who seems to have barely escaped. The man has a deep wound on his back from the demon attack and is breathing heavily. Whoa! 10-bit! Come on, hang in there! It's... it's you, Atlo. Wait here, we'll get help and... Don't bother. I'm not going to make it, but I'm glad I got to see you again. 10-bit, what are you saying? It's alright. Listen, 
I have to tell you something. The government is hiding a terrible secret. That's why I've been on the run. What is it? A journalist I know left a file with me and vanished. I looked into it. I don't have the file, but what I discovered is in this comp. Take it. The password is my... Hang in there, 10-bit! 10-bit! 10-bit. I'll hold on to this comp you gave me. You lean 10-bit's still warm body against the gatepost and leave the grounds. Did you know him? Yeah. Remember how I told you about a guy I knew who went missing? That was him. His name was Tenbit. Um, on the internet, I mean. I'm sorry, Atsuro. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't know why, but I can't cry for him. <laughs> Am I this cold-hearted? Oh, don't beat yourself up like that, Atsuro. We're all pretty drained, and we, you know, this tough as it is to admit, we can't stop for ev we can't stop to mourn every death we see. Also, that's the second time Yuri Lowenthal has died in this game. They really have it out for him. He's right. With everything that's happened, it's no wonder you're tired. <laughs> okay, thanks. Whatever he found is inside this comp. Looks like the whole system will lock up if we enter the wrong password even once. It's running low on batteries, too. Let's save this for later. What could be so important he'd risk his life to leave it with me? Terrible cover-up by the government, huh? Hmm, interesting. Now, we can immediately address that event with Atsuro, but uh, there isn't pressure to do that right away. Uh, there is a battle with Midori. This is an optional battle, one of the few optional battles in the game, and it unlocks a secret character later if you follow the quest chain tied to it to its completion. Fortunately, we do not have to immediately check out the event with Atsuro after getting 10 bits comp. We can put it off for later. So I'm going to make a separate save state here so we can back up and watch the Haru event as well as the uh, Atsuro event that we missed from earlier. And, uh, also, between this video and the next, I'll also get all of the, free, the skills available from Free Battle. Uh, Medea, especially, is really good to pick up. That is a huge power increase for our party, giving us a lot more survivability. So highly recommend picking up that skill if you don't pick up anything else. But I'll save that for next video. As always, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, though, goodbye.